G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade and welcome back to another three awesome classic arcade games within Half Deck's beautiful arcade time capsule. We're going to head in there in VR guys, but before we do, uh, just bring your attention again to the Spacey's leaderboard. Remember you can get your scores up here, just go to the tags and select ATC if you want to see all the ATC games, put your scores up. And if you want to join this challenge through this video series, then just take the ATC off and you'll see the current games in the series guys and you can see that we have now Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man and Super Pac-Man which we're going to look at today. You can see Tag has just got on there from the previous video. He's pipped me on the Gap Plus. Well done mate. <laughs> um, so guys yeah, join in the fun, get your scores up. Let's get into the arcade. Okay guys here we are again and a light coming in from the street. Pasadena. Got a little look at the arcades as you come through. It's such a beautiful thing. And when we do come through, we'll see like five Pac-Man games actually on this first level. And we've got the new exciting Pac-Man Plus. Well, we're not going to look at that one today. And then if we go down to the little row down here, we can see we've got Ms. Pac-Man. We've got Pac-Man. We've got Junior Pac-Man and we've got Super Pac-Man with this really cool cabinet. But we will come back to that one because first of all guys we need to start with Pac-Man. Now I'll, I'll tell you look out of all the classic games this is probably one that I don't come back to a lot and that can't take away the impact that it had though back in the day for me and so many other people. Um, this game was really like, well it was like nothing else and that was the amazing thing at the time because every new game that came out was sort of groundbreaking in one way or the other and this one with the maze and just the colourful cute graphics it was very different guys you know it was very different from the galaxians and the space games um, this was something very very unique simple gameplay looks looks great easy to learn hard to master and you know we didn't know about the patterns and stuff back then um, again no internet or anything to share those sorts of things so didn't know how the ghosts all moved and all the rest of it but it was just it was a absolute classic game and I, even though I did play it in the arcades quite a bit I, I played a lot of the other games a lot more but weird thing I used to play this a lot at home and I had it on both the Atari VCS which was a terrible port and also on my Atari 800 and on the 800 in particular I played that card the Pac-Man card pretty pretty good version too played that a lot and I don't know why I played it more at home. It was just a bit, a bit weird. Maybe again, you know, it was still a little bit unforgiving. 20 cents would go pretty quickly. Quarters for you guys in the US. Um, and so I think that was probably more to do with it. But it's a classic, guys. And we're just looking at the cabinet here. And again, a nice little scratch on the side of the cab. Just the detail, the light ricocheting off it. This is beautiful again. Sorry, I'm gonna, I can't stop saying it though, guys. Look at this place. It's just so real. It is so real. A dent on the side of that um, tea moulding. So yeah, guys, this is where it all started. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, actually, because I'm on an eight-way joystick, and this needs to be fixed four-way. Um, and it's a little, it's, you know, it can be a little tricky and sometimes I'm going to go the wrong way because I'm going to be stuck halfway between the up and, you know, to the right. And it's going to go to the right when I want to go up and that sort of stuff. So that's just one of the things to really enjoy this game. You need to have a four-way um, only joystick. So anyway, we'll see how we go with the eight-way. Let's start the game up. And I'll get myself lined up, guys. We'll get into steady cam mode. Let's play some Pac Man. Okay, guys, let's coin up. That iconic starting music. 
grew up in the 80s, you all know that, that sound. It's actually a hard game. It is actually a hard game. I feel like I've just used all my power pellets up. Oh boy, I like some guy. Oh. Oh. That was always the trick, right? just catching the ghosts as they just stop flashing and then timing it wrong <laughs> getting greedy <laughs> pro move pro move Lucky there, guys. Of course, now they'll be a little bit shorter with their strawberry note. Just missed it. Oh, I was going to try and scoot through the tunnel. This game. This game. You know, the more I do play it, and because I don't play it, the more though it, 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 it just comes back to me. And definitely in VR, guys, it's just you know I'm at the machine, so this is just a lot more nostalgic for me. Um, old eight-way joystick stuff me up there uh, yeah it's a lot more nostalgic for me in this environment than just playing it straight mame on the screen which I tend to I wouldn't do so you know again if you're a bit like me like that and you think oh yeah it's just Pac-Man get into this experience oh shit I was gonna try and go down there but I couldn't damn it yeah get into this experience guys um I mean, look at this. Got the marks on the screen. It just—it's—it's it's real. I'm gonna—I'm gonna actually have another game. <laughs> um, and it's just—it's coming back to me now. Like even just start crediting up again, like straight away after your last game, wanting to play more. And then running out of money. and everything are so good with the with the sirens oh, damn joystick it is my joystick guys the eight way need a four way but I will try it's frantic it's actually frantic just love it in this environment it's just Great, well done. Yeah, that's a problem. 
That is a problem. Start panicking on the joystick, and then it it, it uh, goes in goes in between, and then I go the wrong way. But regardless, I am enjoying it. Some point though, I'm going to have to get a dedicated four-way stick. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Even this little interlude was something really special back in the day, because you really didn't get things like this. And so like a massive Pac-Man coming back uh, across the screen was like, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. The little things. No, 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 should have gone straight up. Oh, wow, okay. Well, <laughs> again, guys, it's really weird, eh? It's like, now that I'm in here, in this, and looking at the machine, and in VR and 3D, it's like, I want to have another game. And I never feel like that with Pac-Man. So this is the thing about this arcade, get yourself in, play a game you wouldn't normally play and just enjoy it. And I think you'll just get absorbed back into the day. All right, let's get back into the arcade and move on to Ms. Pac-Man. All righty, back up from Pac-Man and sitting right next door is Ms. Pac-Man. And, and guys, this was a nice little update and they added the, the four levels, made it a little bit more interesting, and then they dressed it up in uh, this Mrs. Pac-Man theme. And it's definitely an iconic looking cab. I think between the two of them, I think arguably Ms. Pac-Man is the nicer cabinet. Some really just, I mean, it's simple art. It's only the three colors on it, but it looks, looks really, really nice. And of course, you know, Pac-Man was very popular with girl gamers. And so Ms. Pac-Man was a little bit of a nod to all the girl gamers coming into the arcade making Pac-Man famous. But it wasn't a girl's game as such. It's just that, yeah, it seemed to attract females to play it. And um, without being uh, stereotypical, you know, it might have been uh, cuteness of the graphics and so forth, but Whatever it was, um, yeah, it got, got girls into the arcade a bit. So, Ms. Pac-Man, let's start it up. And we have sort of more of the, the same gameplay with just a few little unique elements, don't we? So, again, just having a quick look at this cabinet, though, and a little more detail, because it's just so gorgeous. Loving the dirt, loving the dirt. Okay. Detail of this marquee is incredible. Can you see those little divots in there too, guys? Seriously. And there's like even a little dot of light. Half deck, did you really do that? You know, it's just. Yeah, oh, man. It's real. Turtles. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's get into Steady Cab, play some Miss Pack. Right here, let's coin up. Another iconic chain, and of course they did change all the sound effects as well. And it's just as memorable. There's the fruit dances around the maze as well. Bit different. We've got two little tunnels. Oh wow. Okay. Ms. Pack's got a nice little bow. 
and a here. But the dynamic is Pac-Man, right? But you've just got like you're gonna have four different mazes. <laughs> Jack it at Greg. Definitely, when I do to get my stick sorted out, it will be a lot more enjoyable. Uh, or any of these um, four-way games. So yeah, I'm going to have to sort that out at some point. Right? Oh. I want to risk it? No. <laughs> of course, we don't get the new screen yet. Clear another. I feel like they sort of made the game not oh, the joystick. Wow. Seriously, guys, that was an up movement, but the ache way, but it slipped the other way. Let me try it to be a little bit more precise. And this pack did actually move faster on that second level. I can't remember like all the game dynamics on, on this, but it's again just great to come in here and play them again like this and relearn them. Challenge is just great. <sighs> My fault that time. I thought I might be able to just clear off a little bit more. Because you always feel like you're a little bit at risk when you don't have the power pallet. Oh, damn, again! Again! With the joystick. Ugh. That is so frustrating. clear a second screen. I might not be able to though. You guys might have to do it for me in the challenge. No way. No way. Alright, well, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it another go. Man, this, this, this just eats the coins, man. <laughs> it eats the coins. These Pac-Man games. But they are addictive. You do want to come back for another game. Shying away there a little. I really shouldn't be because I need to. I need to get good score, <laughs> don't I? Get on the leaderboard. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh no! I actually thought it was going to take off upwards. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit lucky there. Alright, let's see if I can get the second grade done. Yeah, with, with the added speed, it's actually, it's, it's pretty cool, like it ups the frantic nature of the game, you know, straight onto the second level. Go for dots. Dangerous, dangerous. Man, if I'd got through there too, I would have had them all lined up. Oh, I've got these ones down the bottom though. How lucky I saw those. Alright, not going to chase the rest there. We get a new maze. We get the axe sequence. <laughs> it is cute, guys. It is key. Just the simple things back then. So yeah, different maze. And you know, I've got to admit, with just all these little extra changes in it, it just really does make this game, you know, the game of Pac-Man just even more enjoyable. And so I think, you know, if I have the choice today to have a real cow off lose all my power powers, um, I'd, probably, I'd probably get a mispack. You still want to play the original every so often, but this has just got more depth of game, more variety really. The game depth is sort of the same, but yeah, I'm going to blame the joystick there. I'm going to blame the joystick. Oh. Have to work with what you got. Sometimes in the arcades, the joysticks would be gummy or wouldn't work properly. You'd have to deal with that. But it's not dissimilar. The pretzel. Oh no. Don't last as long. my fault there well guys I think that's where we'll leave it there I think that was my better score right 14,430 you got you guys you got to get in and go and play these games get your score up on the spacey scoreboard I want to see how well you do on these challenging games and I want you to enjoy it in these cabinets this just just beautiful and obviously you're only seeing the game in 2d on screen here but you know when you got your headset on guys and you know I've got it in steady cam mode at the moment but when I strap it to my head and move around and stuff and you're just in there it's so sweet all right let's move on now to Super Pac-Man all right guys let's move out from Ms. Pac-Man I love uh, what Half Deck did here with the lighting too got the pink lighting here it actually works really well I bet you he did that on purpose, he would have, just to give it that little accent of colour. That is his attention to detail. Alright, well, we're not doing Junior Pac Man, are we, guys? We're doing Super Pac Man. And again, another beautiful cabinet with the rust along the edge. And uh, you could almost say, guys, you know, this, this, this cab's had a bit, a bit of wear. That looks so realistic. It looks so, so beautiful. And what a cool cabinet it was with the cutout for Pac-Man. 
Now, this game though, for me, I don't really remember seeing it much in the arcade. So when this came out, there were so many other games out that I was enjoying that I didn't get into it. So for me, this is a game that I've sort of experienced more through emulation. But what a treat it is to be able to now play it on an original cabinet, effectively. It really is. Now we do have a button for super speed, so they introduced that on this game. And of course now we're going around the maze, getting keys to unlock things, to then get the fruit, and then we can go into the super Pac-Man mode. And this is really quite a bit of a change up uh, from the original. So let's get in there, steady cam and have a game. All right, let's coin up. And it's so weird to have a button in Pac-Man. <laughs> now, well, this is gonna be hard without a four-way joystick, guys. This is gonna be really hard. I've just noticed. Wouldn't have saved me there anyway, but because these maze lines are so thin, um, it means that I can't sort of slide around on the eight-way joystick. Wow, got stuck in there. <laughs> what a cool little dynamic, dynamic that is. Um, so yeah, there will be a little bit of blaming of joysticks here. I'm going to just be really careful. Up in the middle here, got to get that star when it's the same on both sides, I think, for the extra bonus. And of course, when you're big, you can go through everything, except for walls. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, guys, I'm going to have to sort out a four-way joystick. I'm going to be able to play these games properly. Interesting how they stop like that. Couldn't get, couldn't get up. Up. And I forgot to use my my button, I think, as well. Yeah, put the button down. And again, it goes super fast, but without the accuracy. <laughs> uh, it's fun though. It's definitely fun. Hmm. So guys, look, I'll give it, I'll give it one more go, but yeah, it, this is a game that. See, the other ones have thicker, thicker walls, and you can sort of ch chase your joystick around the walls. If that makes sense when you've got an eight-way, but these walls are so thin. I fear my scores won't be great. She stayed blue quite a while. I was going to try and get in the end. And it extends, I think, as well when you get the next pill to Super Pac Man mode. I think, you know, I could, I could really actually get into this game too. Um, 
you know, once I sort my controls out, I like it. I, I sort of like all the the elements to it. <laughs> Variation on the uh, original tune. Definitely let me know guys um, what you think of these games and also if you have problems like I do with an 8-way joystick. <laughs> um, it's, it's something to point out because some people might just get really frustrated and go, oh the controls are, are terrible, Pac-Man doesn't go where I want it to do, and that would be right. So you can get stuck in these little areas when you, if you don't use these keys. Like that. I am a dead man. <laughs> Alright guys, well we will leave the Super Pac-Man and head back into the arcade. righty oh well, yeah. A bit of a disappointment. Gonna have to sort out the controls. Gotta get serious with the controls. And this is what it is about with a lot of these games. You know, Rally X is gonna be the same. It's gonna need uh, a four way. Get around to like uh, Donkey Kong and stuff, they're gonna require a four way. So, hmm. So anyway guys, uh, we are starting to get through a few machines at six now on this floor and we want to go for another three. Which shall we do for the next three? If you've got a suggestion uh, that you'd like me to do, put it in the comments below. And of course as long as it's not Mortal Kombat until that gets fixed for us and the video people. Seems to be working for uh, AMD card users apparently. But yeah, there's just lots of classics here. So looking forward to getting into the next three. So there you go guys, that's the end of the second Spaces Challenge. I hope you really, really enjoyed that. I really am enjoying doing this series because I get to concentrate on every single game in the arcade. Uh, and again, sometimes ones that I may not gravitate to. I wouldn't necessarily go and run up and play Pac-Man, but oh, damn, as soon as you get in there and start playing, it is awesome. I will have to sort out the joystick controls though uh, for some of these other games. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, tell me what you thought about the three different Pac-Man games and if you, if you also uh, liked the original and then played Ms. Pac-Man and also Super Pac, particularly interested about people playing Super Pac-Man, let me know in the comments below guys like, subscribe and all that good stuff. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.